channel. We are currently standing in our Heartland Milestone 370 FLMB and today's video we're going to be showing you guys how we pack it up and get everything ready to go to transport it from one spot to the next. It can be a process and if you're new to it like we were a couple of months ago it's not the easiest but once you learn how to do it you can get it done super quickly. If you're thinking about purchasing a camper or renting a camper you will know how to pack it up and get it ready to go on your truck for traveling. Here's the outside area. It's already cleaned up. Everything's put away under the storage spots. It's pretty good to go out here. And we like to be prepared when we're moving the camper so that it's the least hassle the day of travel. So as I mentioned, we like to have the outside of the camper completely picked up the day before we travel, especially like the rug, because that could take quite a while. The inside of the camper is also clean here too. We check that there's no toys or anything that can get stuck in the slides before we start bringing them in. We make sure the dishes are done, all things like that, just because it can take quite a while and you don't wanna be stressed over that the day that you're trying to also travel. So Derek is bringing all the slides in. He likes to have all the curtains down to keep the sun from weathering the inside. He makes sure the slide over here doesn't hit this door because that used to happen a lot. And he brings in the awning as well. We have lots of little latches and things to get down on the inside because some of that stuff can rattle around while we're moving. Shuts the toilet, makes sure nothing's gonna be falling off shelves just really checks over everything to make sure that there's not gonna be any issues while we're driving. Once we've checked that nothing is on the floors or gonna fall off shelves, we can close up the kitchen slides and our bedroom slide. Now we're all done with the inside, all the slides are in. We're gonna take up the stairs and start working on the outside of the camper. This is kind of a given, but we always lock the door. We lock all of the little compartments just in case we stop somewhere and nobody tries to get into the camper. What's up guys? We are flushing out the tank. After you go to the bathroom in these tanks, they're never clean, but you get them as clean as possible. So with this camper, there is actually a spray nozzle that goes inside the, the tank. And that nozzle spins and shoots water against the walls and cleans the walls from top to bottom. And let the tank fill up as it's spraying and dump it at least three times. And then after that, I let it just sit there and run while it sprays to flush out the rest of the stuff to make sure you have the cleanest tank possible. So cleaning out our tanks can actually take the longest and just getting all these hoses put away and things like that. But once you got this done, it's pretty much smooth sailing. So Derek got the hoses put away and now we're gonna be bringing up the jacks on the back half so that we can connect to the truck. Once the jacks go up, I will usually be the one who collects all the leveling blocks and puts them in the back of the truck. So we are just about ready to back Derek's truck up and connect it. Right now he's taking out the power cord. He uses this until the last second so that we don't have to use the battery on the camper. So this is actually a really heavy cord. I used to be the one picking that up, but Derek did it today because it is not always very easy. So Derek's backing the truck in. We're lifting this up just a little bit. He has become such a pro at backing this in. Um, I would be totally scared to do it every time, but Derek's got it down. He's gonna connect the cords back here and then bring up these last two jacks. Now Derek's going around and getting the blocks. Sometimes they get a little stuck in there, so we gotta move the camper a bit, and we are pretty much ready to go. He's gonna give it a walk around just to make sure everything is connected and up and properly put away so that we don't have any issues. At this campground, we're in kind of a tight space, so I stay on the outside of the truck while Derek backs out and pulls away so that we don't hit any trees or anything like that. So this one was pretty tight, but he did a good job. We are 
out eating dinner so we are done with the campers we felt like we just needed to come out and relax and hang out and enjoy our evening i hope you guys um learned from our video today how to pick up your camper quickly derek did pretty good it was pretty quick it took a little over 30 minutes i've had a lot of practice it's you right now we got oh my god it's it's hot man no there's no hot man here but do you guys see downtown look at downtown oh my <gasps> That is beautiful. Look at this one. Which one? Ah! This cutie boy. Oh, that yeah. is a cute boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, do you guys see the, you see the boats out there? Oh, I'm off. There we go. You guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.